And thank you, Tinder, for not matching us, despite years living around the corner from each other in Putney. You see, Louise and I actually met in real life, old school, old school. It was months after she moved to London, uh, sorry, away from London. August 1st, 2020, Boris had just allowed us to go out again and socialise with real people. Anyway, it was Saturday, so obviously I'd been out the night before um, with young Maxwell Tyler. So on that morning, his now wife, the lovely Philippa, had, um, yeah, she'd organised an event and it was called Workout and Wind Down. Um, Louise, however, missed the memo about the workout and she just rocked up for the wine at the end. I get to love you It's the best thing that I'll ever do I get to love you It's a promise I make to you Whatever may come, your heart I will choose Forever I'm yours, forever I do <laughs> She looked unreal. Um, her smile, her personality, her chat were infectious and she sat down next to me and I was instantly hooked. Ow. Ow. Um, Max and I actually left uh, shortly after to go and meet the boys for some beers um, and chicken, yeah. yeah. Um, and I remember it so clearly, Max, to be my witness, I said to him as I walked away, if that girl asked me to marry her today, I'd say yes. Time that Louise actually had two dates set up for later that day. <laughs> it's a numbers game! <laughs> yeah. So it might come as a huge shock to everyone that she didn't ask me to marry her that day. But it goes without saying, my wit, charm, and somehow curly hair meant that two poor blokes never stood a chance. I get to love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do I get to love you It's a promise I make to you Whatever may come, your heart I will choose Forever I'm yours, forever I do Ryan, I'm so happy and so proud of you one I think I want to make 